Hello folks, it's me, your president, Donald J. Trump. I'm speaking today about a big, big, big hospital, great hospital, best hospitable, Lutheran General. I've been working hard on healthcare folks for the past hundred days, and it's time to zero in, huge, singular focus, one hospital at a time. Who knew sepsis could be so complicated? I'm going to make the best healthcare system, starting with making Lutheran great again, Malga. Because let's be honest, folks, problems, terrible problems. When the ED sends up their patients, they're not sending their best. They're sending them on the wrong drugs. They're sending them on the wrong imaging. And some, I assume, are good admissions. Not good folks. Not good. We're going to build a wall around the emergency department, and Dr. Hazard is going to pay for it. Thank you. Thank you. It's not complicated, folks. It makes common sense. Because this is a great hospital, folks. We've got the best beta blockers. Outside hospitals don't even have beta blockers. People are saying Illinois Masonic has the worst beta blockers. It's sad. As part of my health care plan, I will be signing an executive order today banning Cardis, Clapsies, and Rallies. Thank you. Over my time here, I've spoken with some great big league residents, several named Megana, a Dorthraki or something, and a Kotropali, I believe. Fantastic, great A, confident. And together, we will make Lutheran great again. Not this idiot again. Man, he's got some tiny hands. Is there anything else on TV? Did you uh, make that reservation at that uh, Olinia place? Uh, yes, I did tonight. Right, great. I'm gonna do my hair. Alrighty. Where's my brand new hand dryer? What? Where are my flip flops? Those goddamn interns took my hair dryer and flip flops. No. Hair dryer was brand new. No, honey, where are those right now? It's like all family here, and somebody probably just borrow it. They're just using it now, and they'll bring it. Where's my loofah? I don't know about your loofah. What about my hairspray? Uh, that's actually my hairspray. Right? I'm gonna write an email. Okay, I guess you can if you want to. Adult code blue, adult code blue, adult code blue, bro. Does that sound like for us? Uh, <laughs> now I'm kind of ready. You ready to go? No. Hey, Dr. Knuckles. Are you ready to start the patient? Um, yeah, I think I am. Okay. Um, okay. So this is a 70-year-old male. Uh, comes in with, uh, well, he's got a history of CHF, um, COPD, uh, AFib with, um, yeah, AFib and diabetes. Um, and so a couple weeks ago he was, uh, Okay, went to okay. Gym. So let's get to the point. What's the chief complaint? Why is he here? Oh. Okay. Uh, short of breath. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. And uh, yeah, we're thinking we're thinking we are thinking CHF. Um, okay. CHF okay. Why don't we take a look at the chest X-ray? Okay. All right. Okay. 
What do you see? Well, uh, this is a portable film, and he's got... Yeah, you know what? I'm not convinced. I'm not yeah. convinced this is the CSF, CHF picture. Do you see curly B lines? I mean, I no, I don't. What about cephalization of the vessels? I mean, I would say probably... Yeah, there's none of it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean... Look at it. I mean, I'm, let's, I'm let's take a look at the chart. Yeah, okay. All right. They ordered an echo. Yeah, I don't, the ER. Oh. They always order echoes. Who's going to follow up on the echo? Um, Are you following up on the echo? No. Do you think I'm going to follow up on the echo? Probably not. No. no, no. Let's cancel the echo. Yeah, let's, yes. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, now what do you want to do? Well, I mean, so like, I guess on exam, one could, he could, he could, does look a little fluid, uh, overloaded, hypervolumic. So you want a diuresis? I mean, I think he could use some diuresis. Okay, how much? Um, I was, well, I was thinking Bumax, maybe okay. start with one milligram. Okay. Um, I think they, that'd probably be good. I mean, listen, I'm not, I'm not convinced this is a CHA picture, but I think it's okay. I think yeah. LA6 is okay. Yeah. And I listen, mean, we're not here. You know. We're just here to keep them alive until the morning. Sure. Keep them alive until 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. That's all we're worried about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? Um, I don't think so. Let's go see this guy. Okay. What's up? I saw that new one up here. Already? Yes. Okay. Give me one okay. second. Did you wash your hands? Yeah, I did. Let me see your hands. All right, fine. <laughs> Tell me about them. Um, so this is a 47-year-old male. Has history of MDRO pseudomonas, mm -hmm. has CEDA, BRE, has okay. cellulitis lower extremities, uh, has splenic abscess. Okay. Um, Reason for consult? Here for neutropenic fever. Mm -hmm. um, been worked up, everything's been negative. This pro cal came back to 0.19. 0.19. That's not how it is. Okay. Um, it's red. A lot of things are red. Okay. Strawberries are red. Okay. All right. Fine. We'll go see that one later. Go we'll see the rest of Seven Tower. All of Seven Tower. And I'll catch up with you. All of Seven Tower. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. I'm just going to keep it. Okay, do you want it how Dr. Katzman likes it or would you? Why would I give a shit about how Dr. Katzman likes it? I want you to present it the way I like it. My name is Dr. Larry. Okay, okay. Sorry, Dr. Jenkins. Dr. Larry. Sorry, sorry, Dr. Larry. Um, so this is a 85 year old man here. We think he's here for sepsis. He came in from the nursing home. He had a UTI that was dirty. His blood pressure is low. It was like ranging in the 80s in the ED. He's here for sepsis? I, yeah, that's, I believe so. Fine. You get an ID consult for the sepsis. Our job is to make sure his electrolytes are okay. Nobody is allowed to die in our ICU without normal electrolytes. Okay. What is his sodium? Uh, 145. What was his sodium yesterday? 143. Right. 
do we need any information from the nurses? So, um, heart rate's been... Wait, wait, where's Dr. Schneider? Dr. Schneider's not... Jimmy? Jimmy? We don't need any information from okay. the nurses. Okay. So his potassium today was 4.1, so I, I decided not to replete it. His magnesium was 1.9. What was his sodium the day before yesterday? His, his sodium the day before yesterday, I think, was like 139. Like what was it two days before yesterday? How, okay, three days ago? Yes, three days. Three days ago, it was 139 again. 139, and the day before that? 141. 141, and before that? 143. 143. Wait, damn it. I need a rubber. Oh. Do you have a rubber? Would you like some loose? My baby, did you miss me? Uh, uh. Uh, did you miss me? Uh, uh. Great speech, Oswald. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Shaw. Yeah, I got this uh -huh. one. It's a 59-year-old female. The reason for IC admission? Uh, she's got respiratory distress. Okay. And uh, she came in last okay. night. She was really nurse, short of nurse, breath. Nurse, nurse, nurse. We have nurse here for 30. Okay, how's the breathing? Um, it's not, not so good. Breathing okay. really fast. Intubate, call anesthesia. Stat, routine, I don't care. Intubate. Oh, okay. okay. Go ahead. All right, so, uh, you know, he's uh, got this history of uh, shortness history? of breath. Okay. And then he came in last night, and he was febrile, and it was hypotensive, and he's coming from the nursing home. Okay, ED. And, ED course. Uh, and uh, so he was hypotensive, they gave him fluids. Okay. How much? And then they gave okay. him two liters, and then they started him on vancomycin. Okay, so, physical exam? Okay, so, uh, you know, shortness of breath, uh, wheezing and crackles through the lungs. And, uh, okay, that's... Okay, so she's anemic, okay. uh, 8.5. What's bicarb? Bicarb is 37. Okay. And, uh, Do we have previous bicarb? Uh, yeah. I, okay, I that's fine. Go, keep going. Okay. Chest x-ray? Uh, so yeah, can we pull it up there? Yeah, the chest x-ray looks looks kind of bad. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what's your assessment plan? Okay, so acute hypercapnic respiratory failure okay. is point of problem number one. Okay, from what? Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think she has COPD. Why? Does she smoke? Uh, no, she doesn't smoke. Why is COPD? Okay, kids, 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 listen. COPD, OHS, okay? Two reasons, respiratory failure. Okay, write it down. Interns, write. Seniors, memorize, okay? She doesn't swallow, no COPD. Next. All right, problem number two okay. is sepsis. Okay. Uh, Chair pressers? How many lines? We don't have lines. Okay. We're running we need a line? IV. Call Jeff. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, number three okay. is uh, her um, CKD. Okay, next. Okay, uh, AKI and CKD. Okay, code status? Okay, she's, uh, she's a full code. She needs PPI? Uh, she needs PPI. Do yeah. we need ID, Gonzalo? I, I don't think so. Okay, I'm just talk to the stage and period order if we need them, okay? Okay. Just talk. Okay. okay, next. Where are we going? Dr. Stone, we have a new consult to see in room 455. Okay. Adult code blue 455. Adult code blue 455. Uh, Dr. Stone, that's our patient's room. Well, it looks like we're going to have to see him either way. Unless he doesn't make it. And we all know what I'm hoping for. Hey, Janice. Oh, hey, Jameson. How are you doing? Good. Caught up in all your work? No, no, I'm really behind. Okay, that's cool. Oh. How's, how's your dog doing? Mm, don't have a dog, Jameson. Okay, that's cool. 
Um, so since you're caught up in all your work, um, there's a new one coming down. Okay. He's a he's a 61 year old male. He's um, coming from the telemetry unit. He's just bleeding from the mouth, bleeding from the nose, bleeding from the rectum, bleeding from the penis. He's bleeding. Oh, okay. Um, blood pressure is like 70 over 30. Heart rate of 150, but he's stable. Oh, he's okay, stable. he's just a little dehydrated. Just probably needs some fluid. Okay. Okay, you think you can take care of that? Sure, sure. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions, Janice. Okay. Okay. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Are you guys ready to round? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Is everyone here? Where's Vikas? Has anyone seen him? No. No. Are you ready to jam? I'm ready. Alright. What's the cost? Hello? Hi, this is Nurse Jenny from Seven Tower. Our patient, Miss Jones, spiked a fever of 39.3 today. What do you want me to do for that? Oh, I think that's Vikas's patient. Where's Vikas? Absolutely. That's a girl, man. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the 37th Annual Lutheran General Hospital Attending Draft. I'm your host, John, possibly Tom Berry, and with me as always is Neil Shaw. Neil, how are we doing today? I'm doing great, John Tom. How are you? Fantastic. We've got a great selection of residents here that are looking to move up into gray coat status. Let's see what we have in store for this draft today. Yeah, you're right. We have an excellent class coming out of the hospital this year. Why don't we look at some of the senior highlights before we get onto the combine? Absolutely. Let's take a look at Jeff Park. The self-described Jeff Park of his residency class, Fem Lines, Art Lines, Central Lines. Is there anything this guy can't do? Well, I get laid. Let's go on to some draft highlights now. Humza just clearly crushing it at the gym, boasting 25 reps on the 135 press and 36 hey buddies per hour. Yeah, you can really tell he's really good at working out because he owns a bodybuilding.com t-shirt. They only give those out if you bought $300 worth of their products. True story, he drinks a protein shake called Animal. Clearly a Minder champion. Clearly a Minder champion. Looks like the priest attendings are ready to announce their first pick. Oh, hold on, Tom. John, I, I hear there's a little bit of a delay with their pickup. I think they're going to have to get back to us, but you know, that's not unusual for the priest attendings. Let's go over there right now. We, the priest attendings, will select Christian Lozer, University of Bulgaria. Okay, thank you. Excellent pick by the Crease team, Neil. I'm giving this an A-plus rating. I'm going to give this an A-plus rating as well. Christian's work hours are erratic, often middle of the night. His relationship with nursing is well documented, adding to a nature of mystique to his Eastern European accent. Looks like he's going to be a great fit with this priest team. How do you think that knee injury is going to affect him next season? Well, I tell you what, I hope he comes back 100%. You know, he's seen the best orthopedics down in Florida. I hear the recovery time can be as long as three days. Well, that is quite quite a uh, long time. Now the cardiologists have a, a chance to pick. Let's see who they've selected. The cardiology fellows pick Dana Johnson from the University of Smartest People of the World. Beta blockers, vodka. Another great pick by the cardiologist. Dana's ability to be annoyed by new consults is going to work well for that offense. Absolutely, Tom. His ability to keep mag above 2 and potassium above 4, 95% of times, goes a long way. Absolutely. I hear he's got a step, war score, step 1 score above 1,000. No, really? Mm -hmm. you know, I also heard that he doesn't have to take step 2 or 3 because of that score. Yeah, absolutely. That's the case, Neil. You know, I'm going to give this pick, though, a C+. I'm not sure how well it's going to play out with their current big man up front in Vazim. You know what? That is a very good point. It's going to be quite the clash of the titans. You know, Budzim with his nice background in cardiology, he's been a fellow for many years. With Dana, who thinks he knows cardiology, it's going to be quite the battle. Absolutely, absolutely. He can say junctional very quickly. It's going to be a real clash next season to figure out who's going to increase beta blocker. Yeah, it's going to be. Well, let's see who the Nesset attendings pick for their last pick of the night.
draft Brian and Victoria. Another excellent pick by the Nessie attendings, Neil. Mama Bears Montgomery's fierce defensive interns is well known, and Ryan Don't Hassle the Hoss commitment to teaching medical students, even at 2 a.m., is going to work well for this offense. It is, but I'm going to tell you what, it's going to be really hard to match up to this year's Chiefs. I mean, Henna Omar has not seen a patient in over a year. I don't even know if she knows how to use Care Connection. You know, I think things are going to turn around for her, though, next season. With the loss of Patrick Murphy, I think she's going to get my name correctly. That's right, Spencer. Now, on to Brad, Ice Cream Cake Solomon. He's quite the Jacqueline and Hyde. Absolutely. Three cars, two homes. You think you can keep the lunch budget going for longer than a month? I mean, you never know what you're going to get with this guy. He might have a gambling problem. He might. Well, that'll do it for this year's 2016-2017 attending draft. And unfortunately, Alyssa Ralph slept through the whole thing. We've got a lot to look forward to next year, though, with Kate's second place, Bobbly. We'll see you then. Hey, Dr. Conley here. Hey, Dr. How Conley. Doing? How are you doing today? Okay, well, not so great. Oh, yeah? How brings you in today? I've been having fevers. I'm really worried about it. Fevers? Oh, no, that's no good. Let's get you taken care of. Chief complaint, fever, comma, worried. Oh, you don't mind. You have fevers? Yeah. Cough? No. Runny nose? No. Okay. Uh, chest pain? Sometimes. Uh, belly pain? No. Diarrhea? No. Use of travel? Yes. Okay. Alright, so you're coming in for fevers. Mm -hmm. How's Michael? He's got to be in first grade yeah, now. Yeah, he's so big. They grow up so fast. Violin lessons? Yeah, Violet's just doing great. How are the pets? All of them are wonderful. They're just such a handful. And that new puppy, your potty training? Yeah, oh man. We still have accidents in the house though. What a mess. And how are the tomatoes? The tomatoes are just blooming. Thanks for all your tips. You're welcome. So... Have you ever been to the eastern coast of Borneo? No. Hmm. Okay. Have you been stung by a scorpion? Actually, there was a scorpion in this house that I was visiting um, like four months ago. Hmm. Was it built between March 3rd and April 19th of 1951? Actually, yes. How did you know? Have you ever had a fecal occult tube test? Mm-hmm. Papa. Let's see here. Deep breath. Reminds me to add nuts to my grocery list. So you got cats? Go ahead and hop back down. Okay. So, the fevers on exam, you sound pretty wheezy. Uh, there's a lot of viral illnesses going around this time. Probably just set you up with the Medrol dose pack and you should okay. be good to go. So, uh, how's your father doing? Ah, uh, he's doing okay. Good, how about your mother? She's all right too. Oh, and your grandmother? Another patient of mine. <laughs> She's okay. Yeah, I actually, uh, yeah, actually back in uh, 1981, started seeing her as a resident. Um, you know, been a patient of mine since then. Wow. Um, actually got her paper chart back in the office if you want to see it. That would be awesome. Um, anyways, steroids, uh, you should be good to go. Drink plenty of fluids. Uh, have you seen Designated Survivor? Yeah, just started watching. Great show, really intense, I like it. My residents don't watch it, I don't know why. <laughs> um, but anyways, I gotta get going. Going up to Wisconsin for the weekend, visiting my son, getting some new Glarus beer for the residents. Hope you have a good weekend and call back at the clinic if you need anything else. Awesome, thank you. Time out! Time out! Damn it! Get back and play some D! Come on! Get back and play some D! You guys are better than this! Make some cuts! Don't just stand there! Make some cuts! You guys are getting beat by a bunch of old farts! Ugh. You're blowing the game! You guys are playing like a bunch of geriatrics! Hustle guys! Come on! Hustle! Box out! Come on guys! That guy just got like seven offensive rebounds! Box out! Pick and roll damn it! Pick and roll! Hi, Ms. Sam Sammy, Dr. Louie, Neurology. 
Based on the constellation of your symptoms of your varying paresthesias in your right and left arm, separated by space and time, along with the classic MRR findings showing demyelinating disease, and your LP findings showing CSF with oliclonal bands in the IgG, I'm 100% certain this is multiple sclerosis. I call this a slam dunk diagnosis. I think we found the culprit for your strokes. Cardiology did a TEE and they found a large left atrial clot. All this is thromboembolic disease. Thanks cardiology, that was a critical assist. It's 9.59, patient is still intubated. She passed all her weaning parameters. Quick, extubate the patient. 10 o'clock, right on the dot. I call that a buzzer beater. I can't believe they're making me babysit these kids just for a GI follow-up chat. This is probably one of them calling me right now. Ignore. You know what? I think I'll just send an angry email. Where are you going? Oh, uh, I actually just got here. It's like 2 o'clock. You gotta be better than that. Yeah, yeah. Um, where do you think you're going? Oh, I was just gonna check some labs. Good, you know it's like 250, right? Yeah, I like to check labs with my code on sometimes. Good. Uh, you do that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Dude, what are you doing? Do you not read my freaking emails? I, I what do you have to say for yourself? I think I just peed a little. Good, my job is done. Hey, Dr. Chen. Oh, hello. So I saw that new patient, the one with the breathing problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's just a pneumonia. Oh, no. um, so I'm going to give him some antibiotics mm -hmm. and then give him some breathing uh, duoneps okay. just to help him breathe better. No, 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 no. It's, he doesn't need the breathing treatment. He, he, he sit like this and his organs are all smushed. You know, he needs to sit like this and everything expand. He breathe better, okay? And now he'll be, uh, you know, okay, okay. And he, he needs to walk like this, okay? Okay, like this. Good posture, you know, helping you read better. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. So, do you, okay. what, what, what do you want me to do? Dr. Bauer, just hey. wanted to let you know the patient's potassium is 6.5 this morning. Oh. Hi, Dr. Bauer. Call an RRT and consult everybody. Huh? What was that? Mauer? Dr. Patel, I'm advancing the catheter. I'm going to engage the right coronary artery. Right. Oh, I think I got it. Mm hmm Oh no, what's that? I think there's a dissection, Dr. Patel. What should I do? That's nothing. You know what I saw in Africa? I saw that we're doing it with the rhino. What should I do? What should I do? This. Okay. I'm going to pull the catheter back, Dr. Patel. Oh no, it's bleeding all over the place. Right. I think the patient is coding, Dr. Patel. 
Is that one of the rats? Oh no. Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute and just sit in your den and tell you how I became the Prince of Loose Chain. In Saudi Arabia, born and raised on the iron ground where I spent most of my days. Chillin' out, max and relax, now cool. Shootin' out some muscle milk up by the pool. When a couple of girls who were part of my group started making trouble in my social loop. My mom's found out and she went into shock. She said, You're moving to Chicago to become a dang doc. I whistled for a cab and when it came near, the license plate said Humps with free wits in the rear. I ran and got the milk from the back of the fridge and said, Hey, buddy, let's go to Park Ridge! And I yelled to the cab, your buddy, smell you later. I looked at my kingdom and I took out my pen to sit on the throne as the Prince of Luchan. Adult code blue. Adult. Code blue. Yeah, getting a sick workout. Yeah, feel that burn. Uh, yeah, 1024, 1025, 1026. Uh, I look good. I look sexy. Let's get a selfie Snapchat on this. Yeah. Uh, get that pump in. Pump adult that iron. Code blue for tower. Adult code blue for tower. My people need me. All right, maintain compressions. Who's keeping what time? What kind of weak ass compressions are those? Step aside, let me show you how it's done. This is how you do compressions. Let me snap this. Here. This guy's got no access. Get the ultrasound, you get the ultrasound. Screw it, there's no time, I'm putting this in blind. I think I got it, I think I got it. Yeah, I got it. Central line number 500. Let's snap this. Good interns, my name is Andrew Keltz. I'm going to be your senior this month in ICU. Okay. Uh, excuse me, is that with a C or a K? It's with a K, okay? Enough with the rookie questions. Sorry, sorry. All right, back to ICU. This is a, it's, it's a very sick rotation. There's a lot of sick people. There's people that die. You know, they need close management. I want to have daily labs. I want to have daily mags, daily fosses. I want you in that room every half an hour checking in on your patient. Things start going wrong, you call me. 
You know, I'm a third year senior. What's your phone number? Yeah, it's, it's on the board, yeah. You, okay. you can find that on the board. On the board. board. Yeah. Um, say patience. And if something goes wrong, I'm here to help you. The, the doctors are here to help you. We got it, okay? So now onto the priorities for today. I'm going to take a nap. You got my number. You call me. Anything happens, I'll, I'll be right down. And um, they haven't okay. had a bowel movement in a day, and, and the nurse was calling, and I yeah. don't, we're like, really worried about that. Their blood pressure is like 100 over 70, and like their heart rate's like uh, 92. Calm down. We're really calm scared. Down. Here's what you're gonna hold on a sec. I'm gonna take these gloves. What? I'm gonna put those on. Well, yeah, they're they're, they're taking me again about this. Yeah, this is the lube. What? You're gonna put the gloves on. You're gonna use the lube, and you're gonna go up there. And you're gonna, you know, well, clean things out. And, can you do it? Because we don't. Well, can you show us? You see these fingers? We can't be using these in any patients. They are not gonna like these chubby fingers. Okay, so it's gonna have to be you. All right. So, but you know, it's day one. Let's not freak out here. The patient's not gonna die. Okay. I think we need to prioritize our Saturday. Let's let's go get some lunch. Okay. But 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 the before or after? No no. The, okay. okay. We're gonna go get some lunch, but, and then we'll come back. We'll, we'll get get your loop. Okay. okay. Well, we got we got this. Okay. Messaged me back saying they're not going to do a Thora. You messaged Dr. Babaja? Yep. And he said he's not going to do it. Yeah, he messaged me back on Perfect Surf. It was the right patient. Yeah. Okay. Can you message him again? But he just replied back. I know. It's just. It's a sick patient. Okay. You have a new message. Oh, look. Oh, look what it says. Hey, Kevin. We got this. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, carry on. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Hey, Kevin. I have a question about this new patient who came in with respiratory distress. Didn't we already talk about this, Jessica? Mm, Chloe? Oh. My bad. That's okay. Why are you in a suit, Kevin? It's comfortable and calming. You should try it. Oh man. 30 
video is so good. It's like retirement. Hashtag copy to aneurysm. This is a 65 year old gentleman who Kimpo was admitted last night. Uh, Hello. Uh, uh, oh, this is just something I can't do. Don't mind me. Keep we're going. Uh, doing keep, sign out. Keep man. going. Don't worry. Okay. No, that's my stuff. Uh, you don't need it. Signing out. Don't worry. 65 year old guy, history of hypertension and coronary artery disease. Came in with three to four. Sorry. You just can't. You know what? Since we're at it. There you go. Thank you. Carry on, guys. What's this deal? I'm trying to do our iPads. Anyway, 65 year old male who came in with shortness. Clean your stuff on stuff on stuff. Clean kitchens in a minute. Mr. Clean will clean your. Clean your stuff on stuff on stuff. Clean kitchens in a minute. Today we will be observing the North American Ricky Barnett in its natural habitat in Illinois. Let's observe. His other name is Rickettsia barnensis. As you can see, they are not happy. Hello? Yes? You want to get another C. diff test? You know, it was, it was negative three hours ago. You still think we need to... You know what? I, I don't care. Go ahead. Get it. This nurse is being so needy. If she pages me one more time, I'm going to lose it. What? May I please set a topic from the mystical cup of destiny? Uh-huh. Yeah. Pick out one from the cup. Oh, boy. It just says empty. Yeah. Go, go look that up on up to date, okay? okay? Emptiness, yeah. Okay. And then look up the starting dose for Wellbutrin, okay? Okay. You, can, you do that for me. When do you... When do you this want is a medicine rotation, okay? Yeah. You go see the patient. I did write a note. I did. Or they leave. What are you doing here? Okay. I'll, Go. I'll look it up. Go. I'll look it up. Get out of here. It's medical students. It doesn't stop. It's worse than the interns. The only diagnostic tests are mostly obscure, and none of the residents have ever ordered them before. But the best one is a new admission. So Ricky, medicine senior. No, we won't be covering. 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 Uh, did you hear what happened? No, man, what are you talking about? Trump, Trump's saying that uh, people of your kind are going to get deported effectively immediately. What? what are you talking about my kind, bro? That's that's what they said. It's on Fox News in the resident lounge. It's real what, news. If what kind were they talking ha! about? ISIS people. Are you serious? Yeah, man. Is, so, this, is this like a skit or something? Are no, you serious? it's Fox News. It's real news, man. It's still on downstairs if you want to go check it out. Dude, I'm, you're bullshitting me. Why are these pictures everywhere? So there's a patient over there, he's unresponsive, there's no pulse. What do you think we should do? Hmm. Hmm. That's a good question. Let me think about this for a few minutes. Okay. While I struck my chin. Okay. Um, okay, bye. <laughs> Dr. Prieto, it's the doctor. Who has the patient in bed 16? Um, I do. Kenny Swan says, Kenny, how much data allowed did that patient receive the past 24 hours? On the PCA pump, uh, about 26 milligrams. 26 milligrams. That is a 
most powerful amount there, Kenny Swan Station. Kenny, can you tell me, Kenny, how much morphine equivalence, 26 milligrams of dilaudid is, to the amount of ice needed on a balmy Georgia evening? I don't know. So the correct answer is thinking about sweet tea. Okay. Thinking about sweet tea. And then what we do is we just go over to our morphine, morphone conversion chart and simply take the square root of the amount of ice times the amount of dilaudid plus a piece of pecan pie. And there you go. There's your answer. I can't believe the antennas didn't do a skit about me. I can't believe it. I gave them plenty of material. Look at the way I wear this white coat. Look at how it billows. That's enough. I told the interns plenty of weird stuff. That should have been a great skit. I told them about how I was a top 50 trivia player. I told them all sorts of weird baseball facts that no one seems to care about. That's gonna that's be plenty for a skit. I can't believe they didn't do it. I mean, you're gonna look there and tell me that when you tell someone that obviously Carl Everett was the best addition to the White Sox in 2003 and 2005. I mean, look at that back. You're gonna tell me that that isn't a skit? Just, it's upsetting. The Celtics, LeBron James, Cavaliers, Cincinnati Reds, Chicago Bears, Jay Cutler, Jay Cutler, Jay Cutler. Point. The Bengals. I hate the Bengals. Green Bay Packers. Ricky Barnett.